It's Rob on D reporting live, 1.32 a.m. Uh, actually, this is a Valentine's Day, so happy Valentine's Day. Uh, I'm on call. I'm heading to right now, middle of the night. We've got a patient uh, has AFib, had a... Uh, that uh, I guess was unsuccessful, although they did a pericardiocentesis since then. She was hypotensive, found to have uh, bleeding in the region of the liver, left liver on a CTA. So the plan is to go in right now and uh, em evaluate her left hepatic artery for possible embolization. Uh, she's been hypotensive, that's been better. After fluids, she's been getting blood. Her blood count dropped significantly from uh, nine or eight or 10 to six. So clearly she's bleeding. We have good CT evidence that she is bleeding in the left side of the liver. It corresponds to the track that they probably took for the pericardiocentesis. So, um, you know, this is kind of the story that's developing. Uh, what we can offer her right now is a uh, way to stop that acute bleeding and decrease her, her risk for hypotension and uh, deterioration over the next 12, 24 hours. So that is the value of me going in right now, 1.30 in the morning. Um, that's the value of IR in, in, the, in the medicine and I guess in, in life in general. So, so that's what I'm up to. I called in the nurse and the tech. I told I'm coming in. I'm going to go into the hospital. I'm going to go to the CCU, get consent, clinically evaluate the patient. Potentially I'm thinking about going left radio. Um, reasons being that she has been on some anticoagulation for AFib and we could go left radial and still evaluate her hepatics very nicely and we'd have complete control of the access site uh, unlike the femoral where we might have to leave a sheath. Now that being said, she has been off the apixaban, uh, the NOAC, for 36 hours so she's probably not active or she's been at least three half lives. Um, but then there's also an issue of possibly heparin being on board from the procedure. The other major clinical concern I have, and I, I feel privileged to be able to say this because I was not a clinician, I'd say over a year ago, but I currently feel that I am. Um, the AFib issue that, that started this whole thing, I would say I'm not 100% comfortable in treating, let's say if it occurred again, if she became, if she went into AFib on the table, I'm not sure what I would do. People that had the answers would probably be the CCU nurse who would, probably would be coming with the patients. And uh, we could also ask the CCU attending to just be available for, uh, for calls during the procedure. So those are some ways I would manage this. And then I might read about arrhythmia management maybe on my own offline at some point. So that's the plan. Stroke RMD. Uh, see you guys later.